What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing very, very well. Uh, I'm really excited to try some different variations on the Storm build. And the very first one that I'm going to be kind of digging my heels into is a Firestorm build is what I'm going to call it, where we include Fire Nova in the build and we drop a couple of other things on the tree. So this is really exciting. It actually did a tremendous amount of damage in the Mythic Plus dungeon. I will say right at the beginning, this might be a build that only really works on Fortified Weeks. And the reason is because you just lose a lot of your extra single target damage because of having to take Fire Nova. And that's okay. It's just that the way the build kind of functions, I think it works a lot, lot better with big packs of mobs, of course, because Fire Nova hits lots of enemies at once. And on fortified weeks where the um the mobs last longer versus the bosses lasting longer so let's dig into the talent tree and then um i'll tell you how it feels to play and then i have some gameplay footage i did do 130k overall in a dungeon so just keep that in mind we'll get we'll get back to that in a second we did a lot of damage here's what the tree looks like you've got lava lash with molten assault down to fire nova we're dropping ice strike we're do dropping converging storms we dropped Storm's Wrath, Storm Blast, and Alpha Wolf. Those are the main things that we're... I don't think we dropped anything else. So that's where you're kind of sacrificing your... Again, <clears throat> you're going to spend some GCDs pressing Lava Lash and pressing Fire Nova. And that means you're going to spend less GCDs pressing Storm Strike. Which means things like Storm's Wrath loses a bit of value. Um, and obviously Storm Blast loses a bit of value too because you're not... Uh, pressing storm strike as much you still do press storm strike quite a bit don't get me wrong but um only about there's 221 times there plus wind strike so maybe 300 times in total versus my regular storm builds in which i cast storm strike almost 600 times so you're casting storm strike a lot less in this build because you have other ways of generating resources and then you're still dumping a lot of those resources into Chain Lightning, of course. And then you're still getting the refund on Chain Lightning from Static Accumulation. You're still getting the reset on Storm Strike because from Legacy. You're still trying to proc Deeply Rooted. And we got Deeply Rooted procs multiple times. You see, we got about 28 procs on Deeply Rooted in a 20-minute dungeon. So that's more than a proc per minute. That's about one proc every 50 seconds, every 45 seconds or so. So that's still a, a very great number. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, yeah, and the, the build largely functions the same. You're still trying to reset Storm Strike to press it, to proc DRE, to get those big DRE windows. They just don't feel as good as they used to, as they do in the Storm build, the regular Storm build. They just feel a little bit different. So, um, yeah, this is the build. You're adding in these extra pieces up here, and we're taking away a couple of extra supportive talents that really buff up Storm Strike a little bit more. And they we're losing the damage from Alpha Wolf, but we're gaining a lot of AoE damage from Fire Nova. So Alpha Wolf would have given us about 5% more damage, and Fire Nova is giving us 9.3%. So it's actually just a better trade. It's just straight up a better trade to have Fire Nova over Alpha Wolf in terms of how this build kind of functions. Now, this might change from dungeon to dungeon. We're going to have to see. I think like Alpha Wolf, for example, would add more damage on single target versus Fire Nova. Um, but yeah, that's sort of a wash there. The last piece is that Fire Nova generates a tremendous amount of Maelstrom weapon stacks because of swirling Maelstrom, right? So, uh, consuming at least two stacks of Hailstorm using Ice Strike and each explosion from Fire Nova now also grants, uh, a stack of Maelstrom weapons. So that's a really big deal. And that is going to really, again, continue to fuel the build Help us to use our spenders, which gets us our Storm Strike back, yada, 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 okay? So here is the damage breakdown, 130,000, 130k overall on the dungeon. We did a 17 Uldemon. So uh, I think a pretty easy dungeon this week. I think it's actually not too hard, but there's some, there's still some tough uh, pulls in there. You can see Chain Lightning is huge. We got to cast it quite a bit. Um, had a, had a 308,000. Uh, chain lightning hit. We had Fire Nova, of course, almost doing 10%. Sundering is really big. Remember, remember, uh, Fire Nova now does flame strike damage. You can see in the top right corner there it says flame strike damage. That's a pretty big deal. So it scales uh, off of either fire or physical damage buffs, 
And of course, when we summon our wolves, that's a physical damage amp. 30% more fizz damage when you summon your wolves now because we don't have elemental wolves down here. So it's getting a 30% boost to Fire Nova. Then on top of that, our Sundering with our tier set bonus is giving us another amp. It gives us 24% mastery, which is more fire damage. So that also buffs Fire Nova. And then Sundering increases our physical damage and fire damage by 20%. So it's going to scale off of either of those. I don't think it scales off both. So you get 30% more damage from wolves, 24% more damage after you use Sundering, and an additional 20% more damage after you use Sundering as well to Fire Nova. So really, really huge damage boost to Fire Nova, um, which is awesome. And it ends up hitting pretty hard. We had, what, a couple of 50k hits, I think? Yeah, 52,000 uh, crit, 50, 52k crit, which would have hit all enemies affected, right? So that would have done a lot of damage. So you'll see in the dungeon footage, it does do a tremendous amount of damage. Let's just dive right in, and I will show you kind of how this is going. Let's go to Whitman to back up. Here we go. Here's the opening pack here. <clears throat> I do a very, very bad thing in the opener. So here's, here's a couple things that you want to make sure you don't do. Do this correctly. One thing that's interesting about this build is that your Lava Lash is a setup ability. You do not get a cooldown reduction on Lava Lash because you're not taking those additional talents, right? I'm not taking Hot Hand and I'm not taking Ashen Catalyst, which reduces the cooldown of Flame Shock or um, Lava Lash every time Flame Shock does damage. I'm not taking that. So right here, I Flame Shock this guy and then all the mobs are running towards the rest of our group. So I can't Lava Lash right away because he's alone now. So that's a really big mistake. I should have Flame Shocked the big guy in the middle first because so my damage is very delayed here. So I'm waiting and waiting. And then I finally do my, I get my Lava Lash off and then my Sundering. Then I get into my combo. Our damage still ends up being okay, but I, I probably could have done 400k in the opener. And I messed that up. I only ended up doing about 280, 275k. So I definitely screwed up the opener. This was my first time piloting this build, so, you know, bear with me there. But you want to be very careful with your Flame Shocks in this build and your Lava Lash in particular because you don't get the cooldown back on it. So you have to be extremely careful uh, when you're pressing. I just pressed it again right there. So I can't do my Lava Lash spread right now, my Flame Shock spread. I can't do it right now because I just pressed Lava Lash by accident as a filler, so... Anyway, we get into our Sundering window, then I press Lava Lash to spread my Flame Shock. I'm doing 157k right now, and then we do 170k. Immediately, we get about 15,000 um, <laughs> DPS. 15,000 DPS just from pressing Fire Nova. It's really, really strong. So then we're just in our regular combo. So you kind of have this window, or th this little uh, side sort of uh, project that you're working on. You're always trying to maximize your Flame Shock Lava Lash spread, you need to make sure you nail that on every pack because you you don't get the luxury of just having Lava Lash come off cooldown all the time. So you want to make sure your Flame Shock, then Lava Lash, spread it around. There's my Flame Shock, there's my Lava Lash. Then you could do stuff like Fire Nova. The other piece of it is that, and I'm not doing this very well right now, the other piece of it is that you want to try to incorporate the Maelstrom weapon stacks that you gain from Fire Nova. You want to try and incorporate them uh, into your legacy of the Frost Witch sort of management. So, again, you generate so many stacks of Maelstrom Weapon from the Fire Nova that you don't... You want to make sure you use all your other resources first before you press that Fire Nova because it's going to give you all your Maelstrom Weapon stacks back. So you want to have dumped all of those Maelstrom Weapon stacks before you press it. Very important there. Um, but yeah, we're doing good damage. Like... 190k here. It's fine. This is fine. I get a very bad proc at the end there, but I just keep it going with this next pack. Get a couple of shots in right away. That's okay. A good way to start this pack. Again, f Flame Shock here. Lava Lash, right? Bam, spread it around. Now, now I want to dump my resources. My Storm Strike and my Chain Lightning. I want to get rid of them because I have 10 stacks of Maelstrom Weapon right now. So before I press Fire of it, which I don't do because I'm just starting out with this build, this is a big mistake once again. I feel pressured to press Fire Nova. I shouldn't feel that way. I need to get rid of my light, my Chain Lightning first, then press Fire Nova. Yes, we're doing 230k right now, which is lots of damage. But 
when it comes to executing this build correctly, I am making mistakes here. And I want to make sure you all understand that. Don't make these kinds of mistakes. You want to get rid of your spenders first because your uh, uh, Fire Nova is just going to give you your spenders back like right away. Super, super quickly. Uh, Tank decides to pull this trash pack into the boss, so that's fine. Good for us. Very good for us. I get stunned like an idiot. Double stun, super annoying off the bat. Here we go. Flame Shock, Fire Nova, or uh, spread it around. I've already done Fire Nova, I guess. <clears throat> Fire Nova does also give you a little bit more flexibility in terms of your damage profile. You don't have to be in melee the entire time you're doing damage um, because you can cast Fire Nova from anywhere. So that's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. Kill the totem. Again, I'm using Fire Nova here without using my spenders. That's a mistake. Um, I think I get better at it at, over the course of the fight. So bear with me there. <clears throat> now, we're in a bit of a drought right now. Nothing going on. But with this build, I felt even on single target, this isn't really a single target fight. We'll get to a better single target fight in a minute. Even on single target, it was pretty good. Like my, I was never like sitting there waiting for a GCD to come up. Uh, it always felt fine to me. So, and again, this is still the storm. It's mostly a storm build with kind of some fire mixed in. And the reality is that your damage profile will always be consistent. You're going to have these really consistent over the course of a fight. Your damage is always going to continue to kind of ramp up if you're playing it correctly, which as we have noted, I'm not really doing it super correctly yet. But on this Bromach fight, we do 156k overall. I'm happy with that. That's fine. It is mostly an AoE fight. Here's a triple cleave fight. Again, very, very good for our build. Good for Fire Nova. Get Wind Fury down. Start out with some chain lighting action. <clears throat> Spread it around. Now, uh, I've got about five Maelstrom weapon stacks right now. So pressing Fire Nova right now is okay, actually. But I end up using my spender anyway because I'm starting to get it in my head that I need to use my spenders first. Then I need to use my Fire Nova. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's getting a little bit better. There's Fire Nova. That was within a Sundering Window. Let's see how much damage that did really quickly. Yeah, I did about 40k. Each tick did 40k. And then each one of those bounced to other people. Like, the damage is crazy, right? It's really good. What was our damage right there? Watch this really quickly. Oh, we're doing 184. And then it spikes to 193k. Like, it just does a lot of damage. Even, even on only three targets, it does a lot of damage. They jump in the longboat. I get a bubble from the monk. I guess he was scared. He was scared for my life. Thank you, monk. <clears throat> uh, and then, yeah, this is this is a good fight for us. So we end up doing, what, 125k? 127? Not bad. Let's try to get to a single target fight because that's going to be just a better showcase uh, or a better test, right, to see is this build any good or not. Because the AoE damage is, of course, the strong point of this build. That's what's really good about it. So here's a tougher single target boss fight. This tank was really good. He just kept dragging mobs into bosses. That seems to be the way to do it. Um, he, he just kind of knew what he was doing anyway. It was only a 16. So um, I think I said 17 before. It was only a 16. My bad there. So here we go. Let's get into the single target part of this fight. So our damage starts out perfectly fine. I think what's really cool about this build is, of course, you're getting the consistent damage from Flame Shock always showing up, which is really nice. Uh, it gives you that extra little bit of damage. And you're still getting procs on Ascendance, like I'm getting right here. So that's still a major part of the build, is getting those Ascendance procs. And again, Fire Nova helps to contribute to that because it's giving you resets. It's giving you Maelstrom Weapon Stacks, which will help you get to your next spender, which helps you reset Storm Strike. And as this dungeon went on, I got a little bit better at, at sort of understanding how Fire Nova fits into the mold of this build in order to maximize my storm damage, right? Because um, it's just a facilitator. The, the fire part of this build is just there to facilitate the storm part of the build, essentially. That's what that's what you're looking at. So the damage is okay. We're doing like 80K overall. Not bad, actually. More than I think I was expecting. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, some more AOE here. Hail, uh, those guys are really nasty. Here comes a really big pull. I've already used my um, Sundering, unfortunately. But we can do big firing over there. Uh, and then keep pumping damage here. Wolves are right. Here comes Sundering. Big window here. Boom. Crash lightning, chain lightning. We'll get a fire nova in here, I think. Oh, I got an Ascendance proc, so I didn't press it. So 
there you go. That's fine. I think if you get an Ascendance proc, you still just go with it. Because, again, when you get an Ascendance proc, you get a like you get at least four or five wind strikes in that window. And that is just way too much damage to pass up on. And it's four or five storm strikes towards your next DRE proc. So that's really what you're kind of looking for. Big AoE damage. Fire Nova coming up here. We're at 160k right now. We're about to press Fire Nova. We go to 166k just right away. And then we get another proc on DRE. Again, you still want to try to prioritize your procs on DRE. You're just not going to get as many procs as you do with the regular storm build. That's just the reality. I've lost all my Fire Novas. That was the Yikes right there. I think I pressed Fire Nova with one Flame Shock up. <laughs> yeah, I did this Flame Shock right here. <laughs> so again, stuff to work on, right? I haven't played sort of a Fire Nova build like this in a very long time. Um, the muscle memory just isn't quite there yet. It's not back, so I'm getting there. But the damage is, again, very consistent. Over the course of a pull, we will always bring ourselves back up to parity with the other DPS. You can see we're climbing right now on this pull. It's just the way it goes. This is how these builds function. They will always have good throughput. You don't really have any cooldowns to worry about. Your Doom Winds plus Sundering Window is, of course, your only real cooldown. But you're just always pressing that as soon as it pops up. You're never holding that for any reason. So um, it, I love it. I love it. Really, really good. Another AoE pack here. Move on to this boss. This boss fight, I think I die multiple times like an idiot. Because I get hit by orbs. I think I do anyway. Oh, maybe I don't. Actually, yeah, maybe it was, it was maybe I think I ran this dungeon earlier on my monk, and I got I got hit by like a bunch of orbs because it I couldn't see them. I swear to God, I don't know what's going on with that, but the damage on this boss fight will be lower, of course, because um, you have this intermission phase. So we're just gonna skip to the uh, last boss fight because that'll give us the best indication here of how this is gonna go. So here's a pure single target boss fight with lust. Wind Fury Totem is down. We get a proc right away, so I just kind of go with the proc. I just kind of go with it, and then we start into the regular rotation. We got uh, Doom Winds plus Sundering. Try to get my fire stuff online here. Get my potion going. There we go. So we're into a Doom Wind Sundering window with a potion of power. Try and get as much damage out as we can in this window. Here's the tiny little drought we had. You can see I'm. I was just waiting to press a button there, but generally speaking, you always have a button to press. The value of Fire Nova certainly goes down on a single target fight like this but that's okay on the single target fights you can really maximize your storm strike presses and you can maximize your dre uptime um, that's a really big part of it on the aoe portion of the dungeon really fire nova shines a lot better there of course but on the single target portion of the dungeon you're really just really focusing on, on your legacy of the frost switch procs and getting dre to go off because by pressing Storm Strike as much as you possibly can. So you kind of have two different little scenarios playing out there um, while you're doing the dungeon. And that's that's great. It, it, it works really, really well for that reason. So you can see we're uh, competitive. We're staying right up there with the, uh, the Boomkin, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, our damage is really solid on, on a boss fight. This is obviously with Lust, but I think this is this is great. Nothing wrong with this. We get another Sundering window at the end here. One more haste window. We get another Doom Winds proc. I'm trying to press it. You got to get a little close. I think I'm neglecting my Fire Nova right now. I think it's probably okay to kind of neglect your Fire Nova on boss fights if you have other buttons available because it just does so much more damage. Pressing um, your pressing your Fire Nova on a single target fight kind of does nothing. If you have Storm Strike up, if you have Lava Lash up, if your um, Sundering is ready to go with your lightning bolts, if your wolves are up, like any other button is probably better to press than Fire Nova. Even Frost Shock does more damage straight up than Fire Nova does. So I'm not saying don't ever press it, but on a single target fight, you're really looking to press all those other buttons. They're going to really give you more damage. Here's the boss fight damage. You can see Fire Nova is way down the list here, only doing 1.1%. But that's okay. That's not the point, right? The point is that we have all these other buttons that are going to help contribute to the damage there. Okay? So that is kind of what it looks like. That is a um, uh, Firestorm build is what I'm going to call. This is the Firestorm build. It's got Fire Nova and it's got all the Storm stuff as well. 
it's very, very good for Fortified Weeks. I'm, I'm going to say that this is going to be a fantastic build for Fortified Weeks. I don't think it's going to be that good on Tyrannical. I think, like, if you get to a Tyrannical Week, the boss fights are going to last for so long that you're likely going to lose a lot of damage compared to probably just the normal Storm build. But I don't know. I'm going to do some more testing. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about this kind of build? What do you think about the variations on the Storm build? Do you think that this works? I think it's actually fantastic. Let me know if you guys have tried this build because I would love to hear uh, your experiences in those comments down below. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you all. I will see you in the next one.